Good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to NCWA Pro Wrestling. I'm John Lloyd, and fans, tomorrow night is the night we've been waiting for. Fridley 49er Days, Thursday, June 17th, a 7 o'clock start time. And just before I came out, I was handed the official lineup. Let's run through it real quick. These matches have been signed, and these wrestlers will participate tomorrow night at Fridley 49er Days. Brett Stryker will take on the Masked Jungle Fighter. In a tag team match, the champions, the Yates Gang, Rowdy and Shotgun Yates, will defend the title against Doug the Heartbreaker Whalen and his tag team partner, Dick Blood. Jerry Lynn gets a return match against J.B. Trask. The winner of that contest gets the next title shot at the NCWA Heavyweight Champion. Also on the card, the Midgets will be there. The Karate Kid will go up against Lord Littlebrook. In singles competition, T.J. Lightning meets the Hollywood hitman. Mr. Dynamic will take on the Russian assassin, Chris Markoff. And the main event, the NCWA heavyweight champion, the Mass Professor, will defend his title against the challenge of Horace the Psychopath. So fans, there are the matches. They will occur tomorrow night at Fridley 49er Days. Stay with us for more of NCWA Pro Wrestling. Coming up next, I'll have an interview with none other than the Mass Jungle Fighter. Wrestling fans, the annual Juke Spectacular is coming up. Friendly 49er Days, June the 17th, 7 o'clock start time, Friendly City Hall in the parking lot. Pro Wrestling Action will feature dynamic Jerry Lynn, the hot, high-flying actor, as he goes up against J.B. Trapp, the superior male of the NCWA. Also on the card, you're going to see the mass professor, the NCWA heavyweight champion. His title will be on the line against the yet-to-be-determined challenger, Wow, the mass professor will be there along with his manager, Carmine Verona Jr. The Heartbreakers, NCWA Tag Team Champions, are there. Their titles are up for grabs as they defend against the Yates Gang, along with their manager, Carmine Verona Jr. Fans, if that wasn't enough, also on the card, the Russian assassin, Chris Markoff, will be there. The Midgets will be there. More wrestling action, Friendly 49 days, June 17th, 7 o'clock at Friendly City Hall. Wrestling fans, welcome back to NCWA Pro Wrestling. Joining me at this time, the masked jungle fighter and his manager, the Beatnik. And Beatnik, tomorrow night, your man, the jungle fighter, has got a return match against Brett Stryker. That's right, John Boy. We're back in this sewer of a city for one reason. We don't care about belts anymore. We don't care about anything. We've got one mission to accomplish, and that's revenge. Stryker, Shakopee, Minnesota, about a month back, you busted my head open. What did Mitchell and the committee do about it? Nothing. I'm a licensed manager. I got every right to be out there. Striker, you're going to pay. Pay the ultimate price for putting your hands on me. Well, Mass, uh -huh. I'll tell you one thing. You never touch my manager. All you got to do is get in the ring with me, and I'll tell you, when you see what I do to you, Striker, that's what's going to happen. Oh, well, wait a second. Wait a second. Mass Jungle Fighter, to me, it looks like you're out for blood against Brett Stryker. Brett Stryker, you touch my manager, and that's not, should, that shouldn't be done in this wrestling ring. You have to deal with me. My manager is out there for one thing, and he's out there to make sure that the rules are not being broken by you. Well, Beatnik, I noticed that you don't have your customary umbrella with you. Instead, you've got a putter. Hope you don't intend on puttering around ringside during that match. Don't worry about my putting. You can ask Greg Norman about my putting. You know, Stryker, I've got to thank you for one thing. Normally, it's my job to get this man psyched up. But when you put your hands on me, you did that job for me. Take a look at him. This man is going to send you back to Milwaukee in the back of an ambulance. Well, fans, there you have it. Comments from the masked jungle fighter and his manager, the Beatnik. Tomorrow night at Friendly 49er Days, Jungle Fighter will take on Brett Stryker. There are two ways to build a body. This way, and this way. Anabolic steroids, another drug that can kill. The Minnesota Medical Association and the Minnesota Nurses Association. Partners in care because we care. Wrestling fans, in the past couple of months, we've seen a little bit of a change of attitude with the Hollywood hitman. 
He seems to have turned his back on the Beatnik and the Beatnik's family. Let's see what happens when he wrestles the masked jungle fighter. And there's the bell, and we're going to get things underway. As I mentioned, this opening bout between J.J. the Hollywood Hitman and the masked jungle fighter. Now J.J. has removed his jacket. He's set to go. It looks like jungle fighter's set to go. And the J.J. the Hollywood Hitman pumping up the fans so far. That'll be an interesting contest. Power versus speed. We're watching the power of the mass jungle fighter, the ring veteran, taking on J.J. the Hollywood Hitman. Oh, look at that. Speed evidence already. Jungle fighter went to lock up, and the Hollywood Hitman ducked underneath. Oh, and Jungle Fighter just slapped the face of J.J., the Hollywood Hitman. As I mentioned, the veteran not too happy with that speed move by J.J., the Hollywood Hitman. Oh, now J.J. slaps him back. Oh, nice arm drag there by the Hollywood Hitman. A field throw, out goes the Jungle Fighter. Oh, look at the Hollywood Hitman right off the top rope. He just sailed across the top rope. Oh, no, a sliding kick. He just keeled over the beatnik. Get a load of that. J.J., the Hollywood hitman, taking on not only the beatnik, but also the masked jungle fighter. Now a very brief meeting of the minds between the beatnik and the jungle fighter. And I mentioned that's going to be very brief. That will shouldn't take more than a couple of seconds with those two clowns. And now Jungle Fighter slowly making his way back up to the ring apron. A little more tentative now. Maybe he overestimated, or underestimated, uh, excuse me, the Hollywood Hitman. Now a collar and elbow hookup. Jungle Fighter pushes Hollywood Hitman back up into the corner. Referee Al Alberti calling for the break. Oh, and Jungle Fighter just chopped away on the chest of the Hollywood Hitman. He's a veteran, this masked jungle fighter. will use the ropes and any sort of tactics he can to gain an advantage. Now, Hitman backs him up. Oh, kick right into the chops. Oh, martial arts maneuver there by the Hollywood Hitman as he just kicked masked jungle fighter right in the chops. He's going to have to have some dental work done after that one. And now, Hollywood Hitman once again getting the crowd going. Oh, Jungle Fighter kicked him in the midsection, now hammering away. Another shot to the head of the Hitman. Oh, and an uppercut, and he just, just decked J.J., the Hollywood Hitman. As I mentioned earlier, Jungle Fighter not afraid to use any tactics he can to win a match. As you can tell by raking the back and thumbs in the eyes. And there he rakes the eyes again of the Hollywood Hitman. Oh, now Jungle Fighter using the ropes for leverage. He's choking away. Referee L.L. Alberti calling for the break. Now Jungle Fighter's distracted referee. Oh, and the Phoenix coming over with the cane. He's choking him with the cane. Referee Al Alberti trying to restrain the Jungle Fighter. Phoenix was doing his dirty work. Oh, and Jungle Fighter comes across. Right over the back and the neck area of J.J. the Hollywood Hitman. Now Jungle Fighter falls on, there's cover one, two. And the Hitman able to, to kick out of it after only a two count. Jungle Fighter using a fist there to drop JJ to the mat. Now Jungle Fighter's got him in the corner. There's Irish Rift, no reversal by JJ, the Hollywood Hitman coming in. Oh, standing drop kick. Goes to the S Jungle Fighter. Wow, look at the elevation there as JJ the Hollywood Hitman goes up about five feet. Comes down with a leg smash. But Jungle Fighter draping his leg over that bottom ring rope, breaking the hold. And now Beatnik coming over to confer with the Mass Jungle Fighter. How quickly the tide has turned. Here, going crazy for JJ the Hollywood Hitman. And 
Jungle Fighter finally back into the ring. Well, JJ's working over that left arm. Five minutes. Five minutes into the match. We are five minutes in there underway here, our opening bout at Mason City High School. JJ the Hollywood Hitman and the Mass Jungle Fighter. Nice reversal there, but oh, look at the agility displayed by JJ the Hollywood Hitman. Nice bridge as he comes back. Now he's working on that arm. High drops the leg down across that left shoulder. There's two. And only a two count. Hollywood Hitman using his leg as leverage, pulling back on that left arm of the masked jungle fighter. Oh, and he just dropped the knee right across. And now, JJ, the Hollywood Hitman is going for the mask of the masked jungle fighter. Trying to loosen it up. Jungle Fighter making his way to one knee. Oh, oh hit him. Throws him across. Reversal there. Oh. Oh, what a maneuver there. Jungle Fighter went for a move, but Hitman ducked him. Now they're exchanging blows. Oh, what a maneuver there. The Hollywood Hitman does a front flip. Tremendous quickness and agility being displayed by the Hollywood Hitman. And now Mass Jungle Fighter goes outside the ring. Uh oh, now Beatnik's reaching into his pocket. It looks like he gave something to the Mass Jungle Fighter. I can't quite tell. Beatnik was screaming me with his back, but it didn't look like he gave something to the Jungle Fighter. Jungle Fighter claiming that he doesn't have anything. Referee Alan Alberti checking him. Uh-oh. Oh, whatever he had, it looks like Jungle Fighter just gave it back to the beatnik. Referee Alan Alberti checking over the Jungle Fighter, but he can't find any foreign objects. It looks like the match will continue at this point. Beatnik just gave that object back to the jungle fighter. Now they lock up Paul and Elbow. Side headlock being maintained here by the masked jungle fighter. Oh, they hammered away to the head of JJ the Hollywood headband. Oh, now he grabs that object. Oh, right into the carotid artery. He claims it was an uppercut, but I saw it. He had that object right in his hand. He hit the Hollywood Hitman right in the throat with it. Now he picks him up. Uh oh, Hollywood Hitman blocks it. Small package, two. And oh, only two there. It's a loop across. Reversal by the Jungle Fighter. Nice backdrop there by the Mass Jungle Fighter. He elevated the Hollywood Hitman almost eight feet in the air. And now he's kicking away on the back of the neck of JJ the Hollywood Hitman. Hitman sweeps him off his feet. That's him off. This could be a submission. Oh, he's got him hooked. He's got all his weight and oh, somehow Jungle Fighter able to kick out of that. I thought for sure that could be a submission hold right there. Oh, Hollywood Hitman hooks him up. He's got him. Referee Al Alberti checking it. Now Hollywood Headband bringing Jungle Fighter down. Oh, very quick elbow smash. There's a cover. One, two. 
He'll go fight a roll in the shoulder to prevent the pinfall. Now JJ the Hollywood hit and he's got that reverse chin lock being applied to the mass Togo fighter. Oh, and Togo fighter just raked the eyes. Now Togo fighter taking the hit man by the hair, rams him head first in that corner turnbuckle. Oh, a shot right to the side of the chin. Then he follows it up with another one. And now Togo fighter uses his Dirty Deeds working over JJ the Hollywood Hitman. Oh, and Beatnik just clobbered him with the umbrella. Referee Al Alberti was distracted by the jungle fighter. Beatnik just clobbered him. He's got the ropes for leverage. Two, three. Oh, no. With me right now, wrestling fans, just returned for a wrestling tour of the Pacific Northwest is J.B. Trask. And J.B., what a great card we've got lined up for Fridley 49 er days. I know you especially are excited about your match. Yeah, you know, John Lloyd, I'm a little confused here, and I can't figure things out. About five weeks ago, I sat out here, and I made a gentleman's agreement with Carmine to wrestle the professor for the title. You mentioned about some rumor against me wrestling Jerry Lynn. Well, I get back after I leave a signed contract. I get back here, and I find out I get to wrestle Jerry Lynn again. I get to, excuse me, I get to beat up Jerry Lynn again. Well, let me tell you, John Lloyd, let me tell you something, Jerry Lynn. I guess I can understand your frustration. You see, when you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. And you, my friend, must be getting sick and tired of your view, which must be my back, because you're behind me just like everybody else in the NCWA. Everybody's behind me because I'm number one contender. I proved that way back in January. I was promised a title shot way back in January. But who gets a title shot in Fridley? Horace the Psychopath. Why? Why? Well, what happened was as you left, you did leave an open contract. You did sign it. However, your opponent's name was not filled in. And so to settle this dispute between you and Jerry Lynn, promoter Jim Mitchell had no other choice but to have a return bout between that, you and Jerry Lynn. That contract was mailed directly to Carmine. How Jim Mitchell got it, I'll never know. Horace? Good luck, because you're going to get the beating of a lifetime. And maybe somewhere down the road, I'll step in the ring with you, too, just to prove to you that I'm number one contender, not you. And soon, real soon, everybody in the NCWA will know why they call me the superior male. Well, fans, there you have it. Comments from J.B. Trask. He is signed to wrestle Jerry Lynn tomorrow night. June the 17th at Fridley 49er Days. Buckley and O'Neill together, how come? I'm here to elucidate the prodigious benefits of space technology, and you? To bring what you say down to Earth. Take this laser, developed for space research. It may one day supplant the need for coronary bypass surgery. It could obliterate an artery obstruction in minutes. The patient's up and around the same day. I'm speechless. See? The benefits from space are endless. Space technology. This is what's in it for you. With me at this time, wrestling fans, is referee Al Alberti. And Al, I called you out here to discuss a couple of the matches that you have the honor of refereeing tomorrow night at Fridley 49er Days. First of all, the first match that you've been signed to referee, the tag team championship bout between Shotgun and Rowdy Yates, the NCWA tag team champions, as they take on... One half of the Heartbreakers, Doug Whalen and his partner, Dick Blood. Yeah, 49er days are back again. I'm looking forward to doing it. It's going to be a nice, probably, I hope, a clean match. I'm going to keep law and order. If Carmine Barana behaves, it should go fine. If not, I'll disqualify him and his man, and it'll be over. Also on that card, you're also signed to referee the match between Mr. Dynamic and the veteran, the Russian assassin, Chris Markov. Chris Markov, another big man in the business. He's been around for a long time. 
He's a heck of a wrestler, and I'll have my hands full with that match also. And if that weren't enough, the main event, and this must be a main event for you, the Midgets, the Karate Kid against Lord Littlebrook. Oh, the Midgets are great to work with. They're fun. I had a lot of fun in Milwaukee with them, but they are nasty, and you got to watch them at all times. Well, it must be tough maintaining law and order in the ring with the Midgets because, as I've seen in past matches, they are, in fact, sometimes more fierce than the, the regular wrestlers. Well, they may be a little, but they're full of vinegar. Well, fans, there you have it, the comments of referee Al Alberti. Right now, I'd like to bring out Doug the Heartbreaker Whalen. Doug, a lot of things going on at Friendly 49er Days. One of them is the tag team match that you are involved with, with your partner, Dick Blood, as the two of you take on Shotgun and Rowdy Yates, the NCWA Tag Team Champions. That's right. Uh, we found uh, Dick Blood. He was standing back. He had an open contract for the night. So I said, you know, why not? I'll give him a shot for a tag team to go against the titles with me. And uh, I had somebody else coming out with me, but uh, he had a prior arrangement. So uh, Dick Blood, hopefully you're uh, favorable for the title here. We, we got a shot coming up, so let's uh, make all we can of it. Well, Doug, Dick Blood should not be taken lightly. He is one half of the former NCWA Tag Team Champions, the Blood Brothers. And so he has been there before. He knows what it's like to, to make it to the top of the NCWA. And I think the two of you have quite a challenge with Shotgun and Rowdy Yates. That should be good. Uh, and this uh, referee, Al Alberti, just uh, bring a lawn chair. Sit back in the crowd, watch the match. Don't even get involved with us. Let us handle it ourselves. Well, fans, there you have it. Comments from Doug Whalen. He and his partner, Dick Blood, take on the NCWA Tag Team Champions, the Yates Gang, tomorrow night at Fridley 49er Days. Wrestling fans, the annual Juke Spectacular is coming up. Fridley 49er Days, June the 17th, 7 o'clock start time, Fridley City Hall in the parking lot. Pro Wrestling Action will feature dynamic Jerry Lynn, the hot, high-flying actor, as he goes up against J.B. Trapp, the superior male of the NCWA. Also on the card, you're going to see the mass professor, the NCWA heavyweight champion. His title will be on the line against the yet-to-be-determined challenger. Wow, the mass professor will be there along with his manager, Carmine Verona Jr. The Heartbreakers, NCWA tag team champions, are there. Their titles are up for grabs as they defend against the Yates gang, along with their manager, Carmine Verona Jr. Fans, if that wasn't enough, also on the card, the Russian assassin, Chris Markoff, will be there. The Midgets will be there. More wrestling action, Fridley 49er Days, June 17th, 7 o'clock at Fridley City Hall. Welcome back, everyone. With me right now is Horace the Psychopath. Horace, tomorrow night at Fridley 49er Days. Tomorrow you... night! <laughs> tomorrow night, Mass Professor! Fifteen long months and it comes all to an end. Somebody's gonna get shot down in the blaze of glory and ain't gonna be the psychopath. And J.B. Trask is out here earlier tonight talking about he wants to wrestle the winner of this match to become the new champion. Well, let me tell you something, Daddy. I don't care where you've been. Portland, Memphis, Texas, it don't matter. Because when you're wrestling me, you're coming down the alley of destruction. Because I don't care about you, J.B. Trask. I don't care about Jerry Lynn. I don't care about the Mass Professor. I don't even care about me. So come tomorrow night, Mass Professor. You bring all 250 here down. You bring all 6'4". And you look into these eyes, and maybe you ain't hey, gonna feel. Hey, fruitcake. What are you? you wait a second. Wait a second. I what is Carmine Barana Jr. doing out here? Showing for the rightful heavyweight champion. Let me of the tell you hey, wait a minute. Wait a. Don't look. Whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Mass Professor is out here. Oh my goodness. Get some help out here. Get some help out here. Oh my goodness. To stop a friend from drinking and driving, don't play fair, play to win. Got your car keys? Yeah, they're right, uh, they're, they're just here a second ago. They'll turn up. I'll call you no, a cab. They're right Let's here. go. Back, Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. So, Horace, the psychopath, the nut roll, the fruitcake, I guess you have now learned the same lesson that every other wrestler in the NCWA has learned so far. When you step in the ring with the masked professor, you get taken to school. 
Now, you low-life losers out there, you may not like that, and you may not like what we did and how we did it, but you better learn to live with it, because that's the way it's going to be. Ain't that right, Professor? That's right, Carmine Barana, Jr., and what a good sight for the fans out there to see. Horace the Psychopath laying here on the stage in the fetal position. Now, in the literary world, there's a story called The Lady and the Tiger, and there's two doors, and the character in the story has got to pick between two doors as to which one is which. There's a lady behind one and a ferocious tiger behind the other. Well, in this day and age, you got to know which door to pick. You got to know which lever to pull, and you got to know which button to push. Well, let me tell you something, psychopath. Let's talk. Early in your childhood, you were a boy that no one but a mother could love. Psychopath, I got news for you. Even your mother wasn't too crazy about you. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel, psychopath? Tell me. I'm your friend. I'm on your side, psychopath. Psychopath, you blew out all the birthday candles and you got your wish. You got a shot at the title. But at Friendly 49er Days, tomorrow night, psychopath, just keep in mind, I know what button to push. And I'm going to be sitting on your self-destruct button. Ipso facto, modus ponens, modus tollens. And the professor rests his case. To stop a friend from drinking and driving, use your wits. My brother had the same car. He never let me drive it, though. No? Wait till he hears that you let me drive yours. Okay. Take the keys, call a cab, take a stand. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Fans, Horace, the psychopath is out here. Horace, wait, wait a second, wait a second. We saw what happened. The unprovoked attack by Carmine Barana Jr. and the masked professor. Payback! Payback! You want to play? You want to play? You want to jump on the back of something you don't want to be on? Oh, no. John Lloyd. Wait. Tomorrow night, it ends with chaos and blood. And it ends with somebody going home not feeling too good about things. And it ain't going to be me. I guarantee it. I guarantee Wait, you, John I, Lloyd. I, I believe it. this I, one off your face. I'm not it ain't gonna be so I'm funny. trying to keep my breath. It's gonna be so funny tomorrow night. I can't believe this. Jim Mitchell, you laid out all the suspensions you want. It does nothing. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna lay out the heaviest fine the mass professor has ever seen. Guaranteed. Pants, that's it. We'll see you next week. Uh -oh.